back again when Cassell was giving us an, a knowledge about genetics. genetics. Cassell was talking about genetics, and you can continue if you want from the gen genetics. Yeah, talking about the male, male female, female plant. The plant. You're talking about the plant and how you yeah, see it come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens is because they don't have no seed, mm -hmm. it sells for more. It sells more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So back is in the day, so back in the day, Earlier. Colombian, when the Colombian had the Colombian gold, remember the back in the mm -hmm. day, and then they had the whatever the Russian, whatever they used to call them. All of them had Everybody. seed. Mm -hmm. all so of them seed. because they had seed, they had to give all their energy into producing that seed with the oil. So uh, they used to get high. They don't get you as high as the ones without seed. You know? So, so, weed is good for the nervous system. Hell yeah. So, so if I have a situation where my hand shake, It could help, but mm -hmm. marijuana also is increase your heart rate. And somewhat, it'll slow time down for you. So, uh, and so, what the people are saying about marijuana, how marijuana speeds you up and gets you a little crazy. <laughs> you're saying it's not so. <laughs> it slow you up a little bit. Slow you right down. Make you mellow. So it's when they drink this alcohol with it, that's when the problem starts. Even now when you go to the doctor, the doctors always tell you, mm -hmm. don't drink and take medication mm -hmm. right right mm -hmm. what you think about marijuana it's no different mm -hmm. the jokey part is like um when it comes to us taking something over the counter use a doctor right at least in medical field they do something called milligrams gram right mm -hmm. so what it is is like what happened no, no, go on, go on. they calculate the dosage go what they the give you picture. Mm -hmm. in the pharmacy. So if you go to get a Tylenol, they have 500 milligram, mm -hmm. right? That's the potency. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? The problem with weed is most people can't trace the THC levels. Not here, in but America. in America, like, mm -hmm. them boys got their thing together. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I like how they do the grow houses in America because they have recreational weed. Mm -hmm. They have it where it's medicinal. You get your little card, mm -hmm. and you show your card, and you could have your weed. Mm -hmm. But they take it more seriously. The one or two fellas who are in the bush, mm -hmm. they move out the bush and they go inside the grow houses now. Mm -hmm. And they have, whereas they'll put in for their license, they have to do inspection. So, it's set up more safer for them. Whereas they could produce, farm, um, where there be no restrictions. But we still have illegal activities happening everywhere we go. Because mm -hmm. you work there now, you got one friend, hey, want a little pound of that? Mm -hmm. You can sell that. So, wherever we have a system, mm -hmm. we can always have a failure. So I don't care what they say about legalizing weed. Yeah, that's that's a political scheme. When they come, they can still be messing with the little boys on the block for the half buy. See, I, 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 I see, see, I, I think medically is where the problem at. Where they still complains about how marijuana is not good for you because of the addiction. They believe that your addiction will grow from marijuana. The cocaine and, the, and and goes on and on. Let me tell you this, yeah. That's where they think they have I was smoking from I was like 16. Mm -hmm. And like then Dr. Dre come over and one song say, Yeah, 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 yeah. Smoke weed every day. Mm -hmm. And I've been smoking weed every day. Twenty five years now. Mm -hmm. I have never tried nothing else. I like. I look for no cocaine. I ain't do nothing else. I try what? Mushroom. You know why? Natural. 
What do you mean mushroom? What do you mean a mushroom? Yeah. They have some mushrooms that are psychedelic. Mm-hmm. And trust me, bro. You mean mushroom in the store? Nah. Oh, okay. They have some mushrooms that grow from cow dung. They have some that grow from wood. Because mm-hmm. a mushroom is something that don't grow off of soil. They use something called macro and micronutrient. Mm-hmm. And they don't grow with seed. They grow with spore. Okay, spore. You know what I mean? So fungi, we have more fungi than species of plant and animal mm-hmm. in the world. We are numbered by mushrooms. But even down to our... Uh, what they call antibiotics. Mm-hmm. You know where that come from? Broccoli. No. <laughs> uh, what we use for antibiotics was found on a petri dish. Penicillin. Penicillin. And it was by a scientist he found of fungi that was given off of this. And you know, they naturally produce antibiotics mm-hmm. to break down their food. So the antibiotic we come from, we we ingest, Injects, uh-huh. come from mushroom. From mushroom, the one oh. that grows in the wood, uh, that, those ones. Okay. So when I was born up, I had a lot of mushroom, and we had outside toilet. On the wood, we had a lot of mushroom. We used to fool with it a lot, and then my parents said, "You can't eat that one." Yeah, because some of them are poisonous. Also, all right. They have primary decomposers. Mm-hmm. and secondary decomposers. Um, you know the portobello which you used to in a food store? Mm-hmm. They are called secondary decomposers because they don't break down the hard wood per se. Mm-hmm. They would grow inside like, they usually grow portobello inside and the white mushrooms with your all know about. Mm-hmm. They portobello is also. They portobello is also, okay. They, there's a different strain that was found and they keep on cultivating yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Now, they have to go them mostly in cow dung. Mm-hmm. So, because they are secondary. So, naturally, you stick with the natural, to get high of natural stuff. To, I make the 21 gun salute. Yeah, the drink you make, it's called the 21 gun salute. Yeah, and that, that get me, that do me worse than me. Ask her. She had to tell me, hey, boy, what you doing? So Trying it, to overdose it. It'll slow you down. Nah, that wouldn't slow you down. The 21 gun salute. The 21 gun salute. Mm-hmm. You have that, that one that I made before. Yeah. I drink like, I think it was 16 ounces I told you, right? And that had me freaking out. Like, I wasn't down. I was up, up. So, the 21 gun salute is the things like that was make you hyper. On. No, it's just extraction of different chemicals from plants. Mm-hmm. All of our drugs, most of our drugs that we take, is extraction from, from plants. plants. I agree. And what they don't make from plants, they make synthetically mm-hmm. right. to mimic the, the, the plant. The plant. Just yeah. like how we most of the stuff we eat in food now in in natural, like vanilla. Mm-hmm. Vanilla. That we put in the for the vanilla we'll be getting is imitation vanilla. The ones we put Maisel in the all, yes sir. Um I want to keep it on the marijuana because there's a lot of people out there who want to understand marijuana or uh, ganja or whatever you call it. <coughs> and, and and a lot of guys, when I decided to do this show, a lot of guys want me to hit on why uh, the bush that's naturally grown, they have to go to jail for it or they have to hide to smoke this natural thing. <laughs> so I told him I was going to bring you on. So you could educate the people out there that this drug, uh, this plant drug, is grown wherever, locally here, there, wherever. There shouldn't be people being locked up for this. Because just like when you say a guy going to drink rum and drinking, he's not being locked up for rum. So why should he be locked up for something that it's naturally grown. But the, the, the yes, here's the kick on this. Everything around us is naturally grown. Exactly. And so they pick this one drug to stop us, to stop people like you who smoke. Why? Control. 
demoralization. Because you poor? Or because the people who smoke, smoke it poor, so they try to keep them poor? No. The cultures that smoke. Okay. They're taught. Look who usually smoke. The Mexicans. The niggas. Mm -hmm. Refugees, man. People with problems. Why? Why? They don't put them as much pressure on cocaine that they putting on weed now. Because cocaine is too expensive for the black poor man. No, no, niggas just even be on crack. You think that's what it is, niggas? Just Yo, it is. Up. It is Drugs more dangerous, and and it is more dangerous, mm. more addictive, and it causes people a high. That's the the thing about the mm. the. When, when when hold on, sorry man, hold on, let's go back. I, I, you hear what you say? You know what you say, son? Mm -hmm. Drugs easy to find. Drugs easy to find. What do you mean, drugs easy to find? Cocaine all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. Powder all over the place. Niggas popping pills now. We got perks. We got Zan. You mean they go on to pills? What you mean, bro? Pills been around always. Yeah, was. yeah, but hold on. I know pills been around, but if we go back to pills, then we go in back in the 70s. No. The pills was in the 70s. You think pills was 70s? 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000. Pills I, never went anywhere. They just actually keep introducing more and you more. You know what the quail was? You know what the yeah, the quail was. I, I know, but back what, in what, the what was the quail originated for? I don't know. I know the people should take it for down and something to do. It was for race horses. Yeah, for horses. Yeah, back in the day. Hmm? It, it boosted. Yeah, okay, for race horses. Yeah. So, you know what a drug is considered? Anything. That changes the natural state of your body. Okay, so that means weed because weed make you down. That means quail because quail make you high. So both of them mess with your your system. And then you know high. why everybody is one chest eyes weed. Mm -hmm. One day my grandma see me smoking, you know she say, "Oh, you all like drugs? You all on drugs?" I smile. Mm -hmm. Later on, I I watch her going for a little pill bag. Right. And she pop that open. She have torn upon a dissertan and that and the next thing. I smile. I say, how much for that bill? She say, five dollars. I say, how much for that next one? Two something. Now, when she opened up her hand on medication alone, she was popping like fifty dollars. I say, Grammy, this one giant this five dollars and it solve all of them problems. <laughs> you think so? What? But everybody talk about on drugs, but 95% of the world on drugs. If you only take a cough syrup, if you only go take a Tylenol, a Panadol, mm -hmm. you on drugs, drugs, brother? Yeah, but it, it, it consider what over the, the counter is not so the difference. Is, there we the have the only problem. difference. It is only different. It is who benefits at the end of the day. Pass on, and who making it, who calling the shots? So you tell me now, marijuana is good. But because marijuana is a black man drug, that's why I get called it. That's why they ain't no. regulated. Religiously, you could call it black on man my or religious, poor man. Yeah, religious. My religion, mm -hmm. I speak against any drug. That all. I would love to stop smoking because anything would alter you from your state of mind. Mm -hmm. It has put you in a place where okay, if you go to vote, they ain't gonna let you vote drunk. That's why they close the bars. Right. It is influence your decision making. So, when it comes to religion, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. You don't God don't want you come before him high. Anything that alters your mind. He want you come before him drunk. Okay. So. But me, mm -hmm. I love to smoke my weed. But for my religious purposes, mm -hmm. I go to hate it inside first, okay. until it become an open habit. Yeah. So, answer this question. Why you like smoke weed? Why I like smoke weed? Tell me why. When I first started smoking weed, everybody used to blame me for smoking and I never used to smoke. Never. I used to come home from school, they tell me, boy, are you high? Mm -hmm. Smoking all that weed. I used to drink, because mm -hmm. my grandmother used to have the alcohol from Life Key. And they put them in the cupboard, and they think me in it, and I touched them, bro. <laughs> you know hear I me? Mean? <laughs> I used to go to school, drunk as hell. But when I come home, they say, like, hi. The jokey thing is, waiting to see him house, she had a friend named Miss Nancy, mm -hmm. and her friend had a brother named Edgar. Mm -hmm. He bring his son, and I think it was about 15. Mm -hmm. 
I ain't know nothing smoking weed now. He said, come down from America now. He won't find the weed. So I came around the corner when I get a chance. Mm -hmm. I walk in by the boys then. Get one off by. At least they used to sell bags then. Mm -hmm. Big bag of weed. Going on the path. Now me, I said, Jack, I ain't know nothing smoking weed. I ain't nothing, I ain't know nothing rolling no weed. I with him. I go on behind him, boy. Boy, I never do. That boy, look here. Charlotte. Go on, big giant in the wax paper. <laughs> in the wax Drugs paper. on drugs. <laughs> in the wax paper. And smoke this weed, boy. Hey, look at you. Start laughing. Kick, 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 kick. <laughs> Time to go home now. Uh, I managed to sneak in. And he left. I never messed with him no more. But that feeling, I questioned it again. And then my parents died uh, substance abusers. They, would, they used to love cocaine. Mm -hmm. So I used to say, God, I used to ask my mother, you can stop? She told me, no, you know, I was five. I said, babe, I never forgive her. Mm -hmm. So when I start, I say I can smoke again, just to see if I could beat the habit. And I start smoking. And I wasn't like everybody would do. No, my second high, mm -hmm. I was doing research. So I stood in my book. And I write down every effect. I thought this was going to be an experiment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so help me God, I still smoking weed today. And you know what I do? I learned to forgive my mother. Because I sure she couldn't get off a of coke if I can't get off a of weed, eh? I guess true. I watch very few people stop smoking cocaine. And the only thing they had to do was find a different drug or from coke from hard to soft. They start smoking the rocks and they start bumping powder. See rock? That was the black man drug. The crack? Mm -hmm. But that powder? It was white man. That was a white man drug. That was the party drug. So you you think if we legalized marijuana today in the Bahamas, you think it would help us with the crime situation? It wouldn't help with crime at all. Crime is not because of drugs. Crime is based on poverty. You think crime is based on poverty? Yes, it is. So Drugs all this... will influence to a bit. Like, you all be talking, but weird. Mm -hmm. To get more young people popping pills now, you know what Xanax is. Mm -hmm. Something they use for anxiety attacks. Mm -hmm. If you're taking a long flight, yeah. they prescribe them. If you're having a surgical procedure, um, and they give it to you... Percocet. Mm -hmm. It's over the counter. Clean. They over the counter? No. Prescribed, but okay. they're... So you legal. Say, so you saying that? You but when they get them, these on the road now. Mm -hmm. They so, ecstasy on the road. They, huh? So you telling me now? You see a proliferation of pills coming back on the road. Pills on the road harder than weed now. In the young people. Yeah. I heard something about Buckley's. Buckley's cough Buckley's? medicine. I couldn't believe that when they I don't know, but that's right. But uh -uh. yeah, but I hear that they're using the Buckley's now. To get kids. high. Yeah, the white kids started to use the Buckley's. And but they the, use they anything that the have thing in it now, that gives paint them. Now, puffing mm -hmm. was something they knew. I heard mm -hmm. about that when we was doing a seminar on drugs years ago. Mm -hmm. And paint have a lot of, a lot of chemicals inside of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But to be real, it's all about choice and how we were brought up the home mm -hmm. everything starts out in the home so you think that if the home was right you wouldn't smoke weed maybe when i was growing up i, I was against weed one of my mm -hmm. first time writing a song because I, mm -hmm. I i go on and i like my music yeah my first song i wrote was about drugs in grade seven and it hurt me to know, like, I started selling weed, started selling cocaine. It hurt me to know that I became the people who I hated. When I was small, I hated drug dealers because I felt that they take my mother and my father away from me. I wanted to be a police. But you know, it freaked me out to know the police treat me like shit and the drug dealers treat me better than them. So when I get kicked out in the streets, I ain't got nowhere to go, no job. 
figure. I can remember my boy gave me my first song to read, boy. Mm-hmm. Huh? You know, glad I can't see. I ain't calling the government. Thank yeah. you very much, Snoop Dogg. You helped me out very much. <laughs> huh? First song to read, you know. I was working at Compass Point. And they didn't believe that. I started. Look at it again. Huh? They, go on. Yeah, yeah. man, my first Snoop song to read is working at <laughs> Compass Point, my boy Snoop Dogg. Right. That's what we used to call him. Mm-hmm. Bring me a song to read, you know. So said, like, I used to wash dishes, I mean. All days later, watching this. Season. Work at Compass Point, listen Couple to this. Couple days, you know. Going home with that arms. The time is the end of the day. I didn't sell how much? 20 joints and I didn't make $100? The Martin Yard up. Yeah, the Martin Yard up. Yeah, he had up. I'm going to sell me some weed. Yeah. <laughs> then I start hearing about, because my one and never used to grow around here like that. Hell no. No? No, okay. man. Very few people is trying, you know? Mm-hmm. So... I had a cousin, you know, mm-hmm. I got in there. You ain't got to call your name. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to call your name. Mm-hmm. So, so. Taught me some stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. My uncle, he was getting in there. He was trying the yarn out. He was doing good. He's a damn good farmer. But mm-hmm. he had a problem. Couldn't find a way to cure it. Oh, okay. When I get to find that, down behind him in the bush, start farming. I make some money. But... You know what I always know? Fast money, come fast, they go fast. Yeah, because I always say the best set of businessmen are the drug dealer. I'll tell you why. You got to be smart to hide it, hide from the police, and hide it from the guys who work for you who can come take it, and the guys who come to tea for take it. So you, you have to be the best businessman in the world. You got to know how to, to work the whole, as a whole, that, 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 that to me, that is more hard work than a man running a store. Now, we get back to the crime of it. Yeah. So, when they rob the drug dealers, what they robbed it for? Not for the drugs. For the money. It's the money. Yeah. So, I get back to show you, drugs is not the problem with the crime. Poverty is. But if you don't have the drugs, I wouldn't rob you. Yeah, because I ain't got no money. Yeah, but... But that's why drugs is the problem. Because no. I come in for them. Because Listen I know you got selling the drugs. Listen so I come in to get Listen the money to that you sell. Listen to me very well. Go ahead, I listen. How many BMs get robbed this year? Who don't sell drugs? Everybody so it, it's wherever the money is, bro? Everybody get robbed. It's, it's no matter who you, you could be. A, the Bahamas become. I watch niggas crack the church and rob the church. Huh? So you're talking about. No, man, they're trying to solve nothing. So, so you think that even if they legalize it or not, it wouldn't solve the crime problem? It, 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 it only solve the young men from going to jail. Let me show you what has happened. Every year, we just graduate people out of school, right? Mm-hmm. And with every generation we graduate out of school, job, right? To go to half. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. So, while these people are looking for a new job, this and that, it's. They learning. They young. Mm-hmm. They ain't gonna stay a carpenter, painter. They can be in between old trades. Some of them ain't have no job. Some of them ain't have no, no papers. Mm-hmm. Nothing they talking about. They behaving and they ain't got no passport. So how they gonna look for a job? So all of these are factors. Mm-hmm. What has caused the new era? Not because they're young, you know. Ain't nobody giving them a chance. Ain't nobody want to teach them on trade. So you know what they do? They see the boys on the block who's selling some weed, and the niggas who older, time for them to get off the blocks. They start delegating now. Yeah, little man, come here. Hold this little pound down for me. Yeah, I can pay you this and that. Matter of fact, hold this strap down in case anybody can play with you. If our government was addressing poverty more, we would have a less problem with crime. The best time I enjoy NASA is when NASA's locked down. When it's locked down? Yeah. But I still, see, I have an issue. <laughs> see, me and you're going me, me to debate this because I have an issue. I don't think poverty create crime. No? No, because I don't believe because i poor, i got to be a crime. I, 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 I do crime. I believe because i poor, I get a job. That's how I believe. I believe because I poor. But if you poor, you can get a job. No, if I poor, I can't job. I can ask. I can, I can beg. I can go to my aunt. Go to my. I don't need a thief. I don't need to rob nobody. Listen. Most people might do what you say, right? But I don't believe in that. I believe that 
people are greedy, that's how. Hey, Tony, I come from the streets, you know. Yeah, I know that. You're telling me. I, I see this beautiful it. house that I used to live in? Yeah. And I get kicked out of it. It's 15, bro. 15. The first place I sleep was where? In a trap yard. Who else can welcome somebody who on the road know where to live? The, the, yeah, the dope man. Yeah. Huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, who. that's number one. Okay. I agree with you. Number two, I have family. You think anybody come, know I on the road, come look for me, take me in the house? No. You think they bring me a plate of food in the morning? No. So, everybody say we have choices. I have a choice now. I know what I worth now. But back when I was young, I didn't know I was worth nothing. All I know, I can take what I want. I know, but this nigga want me to watch this weed for him, sell this weed for him, and I can make my money. That's all I know. So, you only know but what you need. No, I ain't about what I need. Mm -hmm. It's about me surviving. It's, Look mm -hmm. here. I remember days like I had to sleep in car between. Him. And all my family them got homes, bro. No one doing bad. But you know, who come tell me, say, come in the corner? Mm -hmm. The dope boy, come, come out. Huh? And that's why he, he put me on big game. I tell her the other day, say, one time, I don't trust no one. You know why? Mm -hmm. And then I may open up and bear for the boss and I bring it to him. You know what he tell me? Young teenager. Drink that bait. Now I don't drink collect now. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I never was even drinking during that period yeah. of time. I had to done ease up, you know? Uh -huh. But I had to drink that whole collect down. You know why? He can trust you. He couldn't trust no one. That's the game. And it showed me what the world is. Everybody is always look at the guys from the streets. Because nobody's gonna give them a chance. How much of them has come from broken homes, single parents who can't take them and lead them by their family members and all died and my, my parents was dead. My grandma couldn't take me. Yeah, but we, you don't think parents is give them chance and they screw up? Two type of bad boys would they are. Two. Okay. Me like you know, I, yeah. I, I learned it from you, guys. It's the bad by choice, mm -hmm. which means that you don't watch everybody in the road care and all, I won't be a bad boy. Okay. A bad. Because you didn't have a choice. Circumstance. Hey, listen to me, huh? I didn't want to never sell no drugs. But I didn't have no job. I didn't want to have a thief. I never wanted to rob. If I could change everything, I didn't have no one who cared for me, you know? After the first set of garbage I do, you know what they say? He's a bad boy. Watch out for him. Listen to that. But when I was, before I was doing shit and I was calm mm -hmm. and I come by people, oh, let me wash your window because I, I come from a grandma who teach me how to work. Yeah? Yes, yes. I, I let me that. wash your window. Let me do your weed in the yard. Who ain't want to pay me? Won't call me Johnson, brother. But when I start selling this dope and I start moving around with this money and I start dressing fresh, looking good, you know, you know more Johnson now. Yeah, he's a bad boy. I know bad boy, yo. I live in. I'm trying to survive. In and the minute city. you try to get, the minute I make some money and I sell, so, so, I'm mm. catch myself in a dhoni. Where you think it gone? They ain't stopped till they put me in jail. You think the people that your your people turn their back? Hey, Ninety-five percent of the people who dead on the road dead by affiliates, family, or friends. Yeah. So you say this crime wave is basically friends, family, affiliates. Yes, yeah, sir. No strangers. No. They know this person already. The lowest percentage mm -hmm. of strangers getting killed is like random manslaughter. And yeah. that's... Say 100 people died this year, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say 75 of them know each other. The other 25% random garbage. The majority know... No, disputes. So th Communication is the bridge between worlds. Mm -hmm. Not only species, worlds. When we refuse to communicate, mm -hmm. we lead to a different sort of communication because fighting is communication. Yeah, fighting is... It just ain't verbal no more. Physical. You know what I mean? So, we had a choice to break a lot of stuff by communicating. When people see the, the young boys in the road, how much people is asking them, son, you eat this morning? Son, you have a job? No. Oh, they on the corner chilling this and that. Because people are <laughs> tired. See, people, see, see, you gotta understand, people are tired saying, young man, take it easy. And you ain't listening. So, 
I get tired of talking. So I leave you to your own. It's nice for you to say that, Tony. Maybe that's the way that you think and operate. But I, I'd like to use something that was brought to my attention. The majority of us here in the Bahamas mm -hmm. are problem finders. We're not solution problem solvers. and pr problem solvers. All are problem so solvers. what we do is we have our garbage that we guilty of but we too busy looking at the garbage all the people have back in the day was the day when people used to ask the questions he asked how you doing you know you had something to eat you know you got a job today you go and you ask people certain questions and they want you to mind your own business they don't want you in their business to begin with because morality mm -hmm. any sense of morale comes from god <laughs> you're right i know that so what is happening now is the removal of spirituality when i was going when i was, when I was growing up maybe you should get beaten go to church but you should get beaten i used to remember going to uh, uh, St. Peter's, mm -hmm. I got a buck at least seven, eight different household group of children. Right. Now, the parents, now the children going to church. What happened when the foundation forget God? What happened when the church forget God? Right. The parish. Yeah. The parish. It's like lack of vision. What other vision we have but God? I guess, so, guess, <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought that up because. My final question, I was saving it. Somebody tell me, ask you when you come on. But you talk about God and reality. So you think weed and church goes together? No. Everybody is one. Yuck chapter soda. The Bible. <laughs> How you know it's going Or this one to sodify them. Come for them. Yeah, the spirit. Yeah. But you know what I like about Revelation? He say, take not or add not. So you should take from your blessings and add to your punishment. Mm -hmm. If you go in by scriptures, follow mm -hmm. its entirety. Mm -hmm. is... Don't 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 yoko one or two scriptures and that, that oh I I no. Mm -hmm. Me as a Muslim, mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to deal up with marijuana. I'm supposed to promote it. So when it comes to me on your Moki Amo, mm -hmm. what we call Judgment Day, mm -hmm. I got a test now. I try to keep my sins hidden, and I hope I can stop. But it ain't no, it ain't no space in that. You can't serve two masters. So either you smoke my water, or you put your foot out the church. No, it ain't that. We all fall short. We all fall short. We all. I don't want nobody to believe that they don't sin. When Christ came here, everybody said Christ was God. That's the biggest misconception we ever got. Because no statement was made by Christ in the Bible to say he was God. He never tell anyone to worship him. Slow down. Let's go back there. Go back there. Now hold on. Go back there. Say what you say again. So There's again. no statement in the Bible where Christ says that I am God. What did he say? He said things like, if you've seen the Father, you've seen me. Me and the Father are one. But he ain't say, I am my Father. No. Because I always tell people, you know, if he was God, then why would God be crying out to God on the cross? Why have you forsaken me? Craziest question ever. God? Let me, let me, speak, so, let me speak about God. And the first law was one thing, theocracy. God say, we do. You know we cry out for communism. Where, in the Bahamas? No, oh. the first man. We ask oh, for our, to lead ourselves. Mm -hmm. Everyone throughout the Bible wanted to always see God. Always down to Moses. Mm -hmm. We can't see God. You know what happened to him? Mm -hmm. God here, hide him. Let him see the back of him. Mm -hmm. And he died and he was resurrected after that. And the mountains exploded. So. Look, listen to that. Listen to the power, omnipotence in that. For now, we want to see God and man, or these gods. Blasphemy. Yeah. 
we have no control over nothing what happened, not even Christ. So you hear me? So the Rasta man is wrong. Rasta man worshiping a man who get exiled from your own country. I used I to be know, Rastafari, I, you know. I, I know you used to be. And I love history, I, you know. I, I know Marcus Garvey, the whole, all of his crooks and teeth, and I, I could go to the whole list. But I can't I say know. Marcus Garvey. He, no. he did some things yeah. good. You know what I mean? He like Selassie. Selassie, Selassie yeah. went to uh, uh, him and Empress yeah. Menin, went to the tomb of Christ. Tomb of Christ. Yeah. And he, the people say, do you know they worship you as God? Do you know what he say? Why yeah. deny people their faith? He didn't say faith. Which means that's their destiny mm -hmm. to make that mistake. Why didn't I quite correct them? He was wrong. Yeah, he was wrong. But I want the, la uh, the last question that I can ask you that I save it for last because there was a gentleman asked me to ask you could the marijuana, ginger, whatever you call it, could grow in water? There are something called. Hydroponics mm -hmm. and some of the first hydroponic research was given into marijuana. That's what it's called hydro. Hydro. Because it was hydroponically grown. So marijuana could grow in lakes, pond. And some places in Jamaica, you know what they do? They go inside the middle, middle of the river and they put soil to the mouth and they grow it in the middle of the river. Touch and a lot of points and too. I gotta bring it back. I gotta bring it back. Because we get the need of it. We get, we get the half of it. We just take a cap of it. And I like the road you take me on. The because a lot of people miss your religion. I tell you what I meant. A lot of people don't understand and don't know the Islam faith. And so, the next time I come, see, if you notice Bahamians, they don't, they don't really respect Islam. You know that, right? They feel that that's, it's a cult. What if I tell you, half of the things will be ritualized or will be called superstition. Mm -hmm. We got from us being Muslims. What if I told you, most of the slaves were brought was only speaking Arabic. We do history on it too. Yeah, yeah. Whatever I tell you, they found a Quran in one of the old buildings of the slaves down here. The end of the day, that you know that they. No, because we gotta do the English. No, you know the, why? The English culture. The culture we were given mm -hmm. were a culture from the masters. Yes. They rewrite the Bible to make us more submissive slaves. Yes. I'm not saying the Bible is not valid, but it was tampered with. It was plagiarized in some place too. You know what I mean? So I believe in the King James. When I become I, a Muslim, I gonna I was searching show, for a book, not a religion. Right. In our next show, me and you gonna go watch this King James. Come and go. Is this Islam? Speak your mind and you'll be free. Come and meet and what's the one that Kingdom is? We can go to all these. Now, I can bring you on. Yeah, that's what we need. Yeah, love. and me and you. We can go to this. Oh yeah, we stay up in that. Yeah, we can go back. We can go to this. So we can see, see. Oh, That's what my word. My mommy was a Christian. Yeah, yeah. My mommy was an F and I was a guy and I didn't F and My daddy was a P and I was a guy. Yeah, so two of us. Yeah. So next All week. All of us is going to have a right to rest in the meeting. We're yeah. going to finish this next week on this religion side. That's yeah. where we're going. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. This is the show for the week. On yeah. Saturday, we won't be having a show. We will resume again next, next week, Wednesday, Wednesday at 4 p.m. And then following week hopefully we'll be back on track same with that time, Saturday same show. place under the tree thank you Cassell very much pleasure is all a good guest
I got to bring you back again. Got to. Got to beat you up one more time. And I appreciate everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.